of these manufacturers do the kind of quality that I feel like they should. This is true. Uh, I, you know, at this point, I would have rather had the more the the B and M style coaster that was in Universal Studios Japan. That dream, the the huh? the dueling. I still can't get over this. The dueling station hyper coaster capacity on that thing has to be off the chain. <laughs> and it's got all the. I mean, it has almost all the same gadgets. I mean, you don't have the the video aspect. There's a video aspect to Rip Ride Rocket, is there not? You, you got it. And um, actually, on Rip Ride Rocket, you can choose your own song. When you there's a touch screen panel apparently on the train that you can choose your own song that the person next to you is not going to hear. Right, which you can do in Japan too on the B&M. It's got the the onboard light package. Yeah. Um, which I heard a rumor that after they get done with all this stuff, they're going to try to go back to. Uh, Rides like the Incredible Hulk and put a, a light package on those. That would be really cool, actually. That, that would be cool. I'd love to see. Uh, I'd love to see stuff like that go on. But then they're gonna have to extend their hours because honestly, they haven't been opening that late recently. Of course, economy the way it is. You know, I feel like parks aren't open at night as much as they were when I was a kid. I remember parks in the nighttime a lot. And nighttime parks, I oh my gosh, I just get such an adrenaline rush. Riding rides at night, so much fun. Everything is better about an amusement park at night. I mean, <laughs> you're outside, you're all hot and sweaty, and the temperature varies. You know, you don't have to worry about finding shade while you're waiting in line. Um, senses are so heightened because uh, you you're cruising around in the dark on these roller coasters, and instead of you know seeing all this wide open space around you, you feel it's a much more intimate experience because you're much more aware of the things that are close to the ride because those are all the things you can see, you know, and you've got lights moving by and trees moving by and it's just, it's a totally different sensory experience. Uh, how do you feel about today? Disney has announced they are doing testing on their new uh, remodel of Space Mountain. I heard they scaled back that remodel a lot. It became, rather than a remodeling, more of a refurbishing. Yeah, they originally were going to do a lot with the track segments, from what I hear, but they really wanted to open the ride for the quote-unquote Christmas season. Yeah, and I think there's been a lot of criticism about that, too, because mm -hmm. people are wondering, you know, why are they so concerned about getting a ride open um, that... You know, it's not even really. It, they're not. They're not stressing about getting it open for a, a part of the year that should be of concern. But what they did do is take it down during the peak season. Yeah. You know, it's, why shut the ride down all summer long and then do you want it open at the end of the year when attendance isn't that high? It just doesn't make a lot of sense. Um. Yeah, I agree. And I mean, that thing, from what I hear, I've never ridden it. But from what I hear, it really, really needs a new electrical and uh, uh, just a computer plan and everything. Um, they have adjusted it so it no longer takes 20, quote unquote, 20 to 40 minutes to reset an e-stop. Um, yeah. But th at the same time, whew. Spot it for, but I mean, that ride had run so many ride units, I can imagine that, you know, it's pretty intense to get everything back in running order once it all comes to a stop. 